In the grand symphony of life, the words of Psalm chapter 100 resound like a majestic overture, inviting all people from every corner of the earth to join in a jubilant chorus of praise to the Almighty. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. From the vast plains to the towering mountains, from the bustling cities to the tranquil villages, the call to worship echoes through the hearts of men and women of every nation and creed. The universal language of gratitude and adoration unites us in a harmonious expression of devotion, breaking down the barriers that divide and embracing the essence of our shared humanity. As the conductor of this symphony, we lift our voices and instruments to exalt the Creator of all things. We celebrate the beauty of His creation, the intricate tapestry of nature that delights our senses and leaves us in awe of His infinite wisdom. The resplendent sunrise that paints the sky with hues of gold, the gentle rustling of leaves in the breeze, and the melodious songs of birds all compose a masterpiece that proclaims the glory of God. The music swells with joy as we acknowledge the boundless love and compassion that the Lord extends to each one of us. His tender mercies and unending grace are like the soothing notes of a lullaby that comfort us in times of distress. In gratitude, we lift our voices in praise, thanking Him for His unwavering presence in the symphony of our lives. Yet, the symphony is not complete without the symphony of community. Together, we form a mighty orchestra, blending our diverse talents, backgrounds, and cultures into a harmonious whole. We support one another, offering a hand to those who stumble, a shoulder to lean on in times of sorrow, and a cheer of celebration in moments of triumph. In the crescendo of unity, we find strength. We stand as one, raising our voices and instruments to declare our allegiance to the great conductor. With every note, every word, and every gesture, we express our profound gratitude for his guidance and provision. But the symphony is not confined to grand cathedrals or echoing halls. Its vibrations reach into the depths of our souls, inspiring acts of kindness and compassion that reverberate through the world. In serving others, we find the true purpose of our existence, for our lives become instruments of love, hope, and healing. As the final chords resound, we realize that the symphony of praise has no end. It is an eternal melody that carries on through generations, an everlasting song that transcends time. We take solace in the knowledge that even in the face of trials and tribulations, the conductor's baton guides us, leading us to a triumphant finale where tears are wiped away and sorrow is no more. And so, we embrace the spirit of Psalm chapter 100, making a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Together, we raise our voices in unison, for we are one in the symphony of humanity, called to be instruments of praise in the grand opus of creation. With hearts full of gratitude, we sing the anthem of devotion to the great composer of life.